Good morning. So this morning, yesterday was super busy. No vlog yesterday, just busy, busy, busy. I had to uh, try to get all of my issues in order to get this passport done. I got my photos done yesterday. Photos. And uh, ended up dropping them on the street somewhere. Got a phone call at like 7 p.m. when I was on my way to dinner, someone found them. So shout out to you who found my passport photos on the ground and texted me because my number was written on the back of the envelope. But not a shout out to having to go right now and get his passport done. So right now I'm headed out, so I'm gonna go make sure I get it done so that I can actually get to London and figure out the rest of my life. And I'll be back. I made it back from the passport office. There's like five places in the country, I think it's five, but you can get your passport expedited. Some even say same day. I don't know if they really offer that. If you have an itinerary, maybe they'll let you get it the same day. But I just, today is, what is today? Today's Friday. I go pick up my passport on Monday. I leave here on Tuesday to go to Boston. So a Boston pop-up will get announced really soon. Um, but yeah, passport's handled. Glad to got that handled. As far as sneakers go today, I don't know if there's anything coming in the mail at the shop. There might be. So I'm gonna go down there and check. Uh, I do think there's a pair not my size that I can show you guys that's yet to come out. So we'll go check those out too. The Datamash pack. The Datamash, Datamash, Data, whatever, the SNS NMDs that released today. That was crazy. I had people in line. A lot of stores seem to only have gotten up to a 12. I'm currently, right now, on my phone. Well, not currently on my phone, I'm on the camera, but in my pocket, there's a phone. Currently, right now, I'm trying to uh, work out my pairs, which will have to ship from London, I'm pretty sure. At least not in the United States. And uh, yeah, hopefully I get them both for a pretty good price. We'll see. Definitely gonna be paying resale this time because it's a SNS exclusive, but I gotta have them. Gonna get out of here and head to the shop and see what everybody's up to. Matcha. Ugh. All right. No footage of the tattoo shop today because the tattoo shop was crazy when I went by there. There are so many people at the shop right now. It's getting to be summertime, so the tattoo shop gets really, really busy, and it's getting really, really busy. I got a lot of drawing to catch up on still. This whole trip home is me drawing a bunch and like buttoning up stuff that I need to get taken care of. But when I stopped by the shop, I had a couple of packages, so we'll see what's up. I opened this one yesterday. Uh, my man David sent these out. Shout out to David. Went and got me some more Smiskies. Smiskies. I don't know how you say this. Hooked me up. Let's see what we got. I'm supposed to give one of these to Abby, but it's gonna greatly depend on which ones we get. She doesn't know. Oh, nice. I don't have this one yet. Stands like this. Smisky. New one. Purple box. Oh, this one sits on the corner with his hands up. I don't think that's the same one that we got. I think his hands were down in the last one. Uh, green box. What do we have in the green box? We got this one already. So this is the one we'll give to Abby. I feel like this is a pretty good one for Abby anyway, because it looks devastated. Shout out for the Smiskies. Also another box that came in today is this one. And I'm pretty sure I know what it is. I believe it was next day aired from California because my man Jeremy got the robot Daruma and he wanted to send it to me because you guys are awesome. Hey Teddy, what's up? Sneaker con. Nice man. It's awesome. Appreciate it, Jeremy. Thank you, sir. Nice. Hell yeah. The robot Daruma. Yeah. Super sick. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Just keep dropping shit. This is something. Nice. This company, Rock'em, made me a couple of pairs of Booze God socks. So, that's cool. Pretty Booze God on it for me. Nice. Rock'em socks. Cool. So Drew from Rock'em, thank you very much. I'll uh, I'll get back in touch with you. We've thought about doing some, some Booze God socks, so maybe eventually we'll get to it. Uh, what else has happened today? The light in here sucks. It's very yellow. I'm at the mercy of the light. It's also a good time to announce that the beat tape will be dropping very soon. Masters are on their way to my email right now. So Mercy of the Light Volume 1 will be dropping very soon. It's only dropping on Bandcamp. If you don't know about Bandcamp, you're slipping. Just that's where it's going to be. 
possibly SoundCloud, but probably not. I can't for sure. I'll let you know when it drops. Oh, I did cop those S. Ooh, let me check my check my messages and make sure that it's a deal. All right, so guy got the shoes. Looks like we're good. Hopefully we are. So hopefully the SNS data pack is on the way. Probably gonna take a little bit because it's coming from Europe. But I do have a pair of shoes for you to look at. Uh, my pair is not here. Jaime got his pair early. My pair won't ship until the actual release date, but uh, I'm definitely copying these. This is one that people have been asking me about a lot. I posted a photo of them basically the day they got announced. All right, so this is EQT Support 9317. It says Future on it. EQT Support Future is what the box says. It's still a 9317. Uh, I don't know why they're calling it the Future, but maybe it's the Future. But that's just what it is. Like the newer consortium boxes, kind of. White box. Overkill is a shop. It was like a group. Started off, I think, as a graffiti supply or graffiti, just like graffiti store um, where you buy paint and caps and whatever you know I think slowly like clothing shoes everything like that but it's really popular in Berlin I've been hearing about it for a long time I think it started in like 2002 2003 I've never been there before but I've heard really good things about the shop but overkill this is their new collab this is the coat of arms collab one of the two shoes that are coming there's a second shoe that does not have boost this one is the boosted version. Uh, can't remember. Sorry about this light. I really am. Uh, so this is the shoe. Du -du -du -du. Looks like. All right. So one thing about this is it's been described as mesh. Every every description I saw was saying that it's mesh, and this you know very very well may be mesh, but this is super stretchy and kind of thin and flimsy and really not as thick as the other 9317s. Honestly feels a little bit looser. Uh, so loose, in fact, that when we took the insoles out, I was able to wear these and they're a size 12. I wouldn't want to wear them. They're definitely like, I can see my toes a little bit, but I could put my foot in it, which is kind of crazy. Where my 13s and the other ones are almost a little bit too snug. I think with this pair of 13s, it's gonna be perfect for me. I feel like it's just a little bit more baggy in the toe. Haima agrees and he's worn them. So um, I would say you're probably okay with your true to size on these. For some people I was suggesting try to half size up if you could in them, but these seem like they're just a little bit looser, a little bit more stretchy. You have a black base with white kind of peppered all in there. Uh, EQTs have that burrito tongue. That's one of my favorite parts about the EQT is the sort of sideways opening in the tongue. Uh, consortium hole punch has returned, which everyone knows I love. Uh, overkill branding, consortium branding. Some people will say consortium. I like to say consortium. Uh, this side has, the other shoe has the Adidas trefoil on it. The laces that come in match the upper, black and white. I guess it's kind of gray. I think it's white. Well, the laces are gray, the upper has white. And then it comes with another set of black laces with the red, I can't remember what those things are called ever. Someone will comment and tell me. I call them lace locks, but that's not the name of it. Red straps that make up the red stripe. Also is the lacing system on the outer of the shoe. On the inside of the shoe, you have a suede panel. Overkill, EQT support future. This is all suede. The back end is suede. The cages in the back, the cages, back cages are TPU. Uh, a hefty, hefty yacht amount of boost. This is definitely one of the most comfortable boost models you can get, especially for just standing around all day. This is like perfect. There's a massive amount of boost in this shoe. Uh, this is the one I suggest for people who ha don't have any boost and just want to stand around, especially big boys. I say it all the time with supports for bigger guy, for bigger people. These are great. Self is not continental. That's another question people ask. Not continental sole, regular sole. Got boost windows for days. Insole on this one is removable. This one has, a, it's consortium branded. Uh, and this one on the other side. The left shoe has uh, overkill branding on the inside. All black all black and white upper, but in the, on the front and then the back side basically shoots into all gray with a couple of black hits within the cage. But yeah, these are super sick. This for me, a lot of people are asking once I posted pics of them if I was gonna cop them. Definitely a must cop for me. I really like all the EQTs. I don't have the milled leather one or the white mountaineering one just cause I can never seem to find them. But these are definitely were a must cop once I saw them coming down the timeline. I think a lot of people are gonna go after these. They're calling these the coat of arms. The pack, I guess, is the coat of arms, which is kind of cool. Definitely fits with the colorway. Has kind of that royal sword fight 
Game of Thrones vibe to it. Yeah, these are sick. These are dope. You should get them. You should get them. They drop on Overkill on May 20th, I believe, and then the worldwide release, I think, is the 27th. Pretty sure that's the right date, but I'm not positive. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's right. That's the EQT Support Futures. One thing I wanted to do real quick because I've been getting a massive amount of messages lately and emails and DMs and I really, I cannot answer a lot of them. I try to get through what I can, but I really, it's it's like unmanageable. Um, I appreciate everyone that reaches out and asks me questions or gives me love or what. Um, I, I really is appreciated. But, so let's go ahead and do a Q&A. I've never done a Q&A via YouTube. Like I've done, I've announced on Twitter or Instagram I was doing a Q&A. If you have a question that you want me to answer, Leave a comment below in the box down there on the comment box. You know, usually where some people are typing angrily. Uh, leave a comment there asking me a question. I'll go through some of them tomorrow and answer them to the best of my ability. And yeah, so Q&A starts now. Go ask your question and I'll see you tomorrow.